hello there dear friends so in this video i'll be walking guys through on how are we able to make use of states and how are we going to make states make use of states to pass it as a props and as you can see here this is, this is i have a, a component here a component called title this component actually have two props that receives yeah that receives two props and with that uh, props that it receives Let's go to uh, title here. Let's click on by holding on control. Let's see what what does it actually do inside. As you can see the props has been destructured like this. Instead of using the object called props, it has directly you can access the uh, the content the, the actual props which is headline and settle so just by having this curly braces. So that's what I did here. So what I what I like to do here, I like to pass the props. Uh, what I did here, just pass the headline props directly like this and separate uh, props directly to here and, and and hence this is how it's supposed to look like and what if let's say if I would create a state a state call let's say let's go to uh, create a state like this const and open close and uh, square bracket called uh, I would say uh, hate line so hate line like this followed by set hate line Okay, so of course you're gonna use use state function. So we must be having this use state function. And before, if, if you wanted to use this use state function, you need to make sure you you import it at your top here. So you need to import. I mean, not not here. Actually, it's already been in, uh, in, uh, imported. The moment when we used that click on that uh, use state uh, functions uh, name. So what we're gonna do here? We're gonna initialize the name the name of this. Uh, headline in this particular uh, yeah space here but but as you can see here let's click let's, let's get this headlines uh, yeah the variable called headline just copy this headline here and just we paste it here inside here okay so what let's give it a save here and let's see what happens here as you can see there's no yeah of course since headline is empty I mean I've initialized to nothing empty string that's and hence it, had, it has nothing it has no uh, Content example, let's say I will say, uh, uh, hello world, like this, and let's keep if I get, click on save, and there you go. What it does here is this whatever you are able to save it inside your headline, you are able to send it as well. I mean, this is just a sim simple way of actually passing your states in the form of props to any sort of component, okay. So that's how are we able to pass states in the form of props to a particular component called uh, title in this case so let's look at on how are we able to pass uh, more than one states i mean we're using the same state but we're able to pass uh, no, an object of of uh, yeah of states For example in this case in this case this says eight line but let's say if i have more than one uh, Headline in this case, I have to make it uh, like, like, uh, sorry, uh, yeah, it's an array. So, the first case is I have to make it headline, I would say, like this headline, sorry, and followed by separate rule. Yeah, in this case, I would say uh, good. Okay, so something like this is some sim simple. Of course, you need to be having the closing uh, square bracket as well, like this. So right now, we have already made like an object. This is, this is just a simple object that I just made. What you can also do, we can actually make it like a, uh, like we can actually copy this, copy the headline, or we can just say in this case, let's say title. In this case, let's change this to title set title. Okay, so only all you have to do is just need to copy this, copy this title, and paste it here. Uh, sorry, paste it like this, and we need to put dot. We have the first one, which is headline. Okay, then also let's copy the same title. Oops, sorry, let's copy title. In this case, we're going to change it to separate rule, which is this dot separate okay so that's how are we able let's click on save before anything else so as you can see headline is not defined and circle is not defined 
has to, and the reason why is because it's, it's actually this is actually we need to make sure we use curly braces instead okay so the curly braces can, can represent the array uh, sorry the curly braces like this and of course when we are using a, a array we need to make sure we put them into an uh, what do you say and yeah you, know, you must put them inside a, a quote like this and also same goes to here make sure we use a colon instead of equal sign so this is the second way how we are able to do let's click on save and there you go now now it, what we just did it here we just made a simple an array i mean an object yeah it's an object of uh, uh yeah title where title has element called date line as well as several and those people i mean those fields have their own content which are hello world and good so that's how are we able to pass uh, th this particular states inside the props so thank you guys for watching this part of the video let's learn more about react in the next episode till then thanks